What's up guys, it's the JHD and on this video I'm gonna be showing you guys my Tom Clancy's uh, my player loadout and I'm gonna be showing you guys uh, how to get all the stuff that I have and how to um, efficiently make your guy stronger depending on the build you want to have so my uh, player he is a DPS build he has a pretty good amount of health but I'm mostly on DPS because I like killing things quick and I like dropping things really fast so my dude his primary DPS is 200 5000 426 my secondary it says it's 203,000 but it's really not the game is glitched and it says it is but it's around 160 something thousand there you go it's 164,000 um and I don't know why this the stats in this game aren't very very well fixed you see how they keep changing this is normally 205,000 but this is like around 164,000 but besides that my vector the DPS is 205,000 the damage on it is 12.3k what you guys want to focus on is the damage on the gun forget about your DPS basically because that's not going to really help you what really is going to help you is the damage on your gun so right now this gun has a 12.3k damage so if you have a DPS of let's say 250,000 but your gun damage is only 10 point something K or 11 point something and you go up against me I'm gonna kill you quicker because of the damage on my gun is higher than yours and also because of my talents and you want to basically try to get the best talent on your gun also to make it stronger so you're gonna try to go for like brutal or deadly or something that's based on damage since you're gonna be a DPS player you want talents to increase your damage so if you get brutal deadly and I think it's compensator something like that that the closer you get uh, you do 13% more damage or something like that that's gonna be a perfect gun and on your gear what you're gonna want to try to get is stuff like that look I got damage to elites oh wait this one that I got my bad my fault so here I have health you have damage to elites ammo capacity which you're trying to get so you can have more ammo so you don't have to restock that uh, frequently um, the support station health is really a waste because I don't never use support station health I use pulse and first aid and if you use pulse which if you're DPS you should you, you're trying to um, try to get a uh, gear with pulse crit hit damage you see I have it on this one here as 2.50% pulse crit hit damage which is probably the best you could get I also have it on this I think yes I also have it here plus critical hit damage also it's a very good uh, attribute to get if you're going for DPS um, try to get like stuff that involve like critical hit damage or critical hit chance or uh, stuff like that so here again I have support station healing which is a waste but I can't do nothing about it because I already re-rolled my mask and I can't get nothing else or pack or whatever this is my backpack my bad on um, my gloves on your gloves what you should get is try to get this try to get critical hit chance critical hit damage and then whatever gun you use so if you're a SMG player try to go for SMG damage if you're an assault rifle player go for AR damage so you know what I'm trying to say so whatever your gun you use the most try to get the damage bonus for that and the skill attribute also try to get pulse critical hit damage since you're going for DPS and this here the same thing I have pulse critical hit damage and I have armor which is good since um, since I'm barely gonna have any health that's gonna help me out a lot so as you can see my health is 62,663 try to get gears that have a mod slot and when they do have a mod slot put a mod on it that increases your health 
so if it's an advanced stamina mod or if it's a purple mod and high end mod it, it doesn't really matter but try to get a high end because the high end it'll have that little plus thing as you can see there it says plus 588 health um that's very helpful so right now the health for my backpack is 106 if you put this on it's gonna give you that plus 88 so as you can see I have 58,895 without the mod if I put the mod on it's gonna give me 4k health which is very very good especially on this one I think also here I have an advanced stamina mod that gives me uh, 120 health plus the 3% skill haste or whatever that's called I really don't know what that means to be honest but I only have it on because as you see here this one says it'll give me minus 2 stamina so this one only has 118 and this one has 120 that's why I put this one on and the same thing here but on this one as you can see it gives me 109 stamina but then the attribute on it it's plus 124 armor which is really good because you're going to try to get um, armor like high armor on all your gear since you're going to have low health armor is going to be very helpful to check what your armor is at go to character and go to survivability and when you're there it'll say armor and then it'll say metagates the highest it could go up to is 65 percent if you have a metagate of like around 60 something percent and your health is around like 62,000 you're gonna be pretty freaking strong to be honest so try to get armor on most of your gear like high armor try and get 500 armor or higher than that and as you can see my skill power is very like low because I don't really care about my skill power and then if you also want to make your gun stronger you could also add attachments to it the best way to get attachments on a gun that you want is by crafting them because that's the best way you could get attachments so I'm gonna show you how much damage my vector does for normal it does 12,000 and then for crit it'll do I think around 26,000 I think I have a crit there it does uh 26,816 so that's pretty good for a crit body shot now for the head I normally do 26,000 and for crit I do 63,000 because of the 24% headshot bonus with brutal which is amazing having on a on a SMG now for my sniper for body shot I do 44,000 and for crit it's 83,000 for headshot I do 119,000 and for crit headshot I do 255,000 now if you want a good sniper I know everybody wants a good sniper if you like using snipers the best talent on my opinion in my opinion for a sniper is balanced and why balance because as you see when I just shot um the crosshairs didn't really open up like they stayed together which is what you want you could also try to get accuracy on it but try to get brutal balanced and accuracy I guess is pretty good so it could take off recoil so try to get that on your sniper if you could and sidearm you barely ever use sidearms in this game to be honest unless you have no ammo on your primary so you want to pull out your sidearm and finish off your uh, your target or for abilities I kind of switch it around um pulse you're gonna want to use a uh, mod tactical scanner that's the best one because it in, uh, increases damage when attacking any hostile target identified by the pulse scan so it gives you a even higher um, crit hit damage and crit hit chance as you can see there it's higher than all the other ones now for first aid I kinda switch around from overdose 
and then booster shot overdose I like because they give you a lot more health than the other ones but then I like using booster shot because it temporarily increases your damage and uh, you also have damage resistance so you could take even more damage for a few uh, seconds so for my third one I use either immune which is survivor link or tactical link which it increases your damage uh, on your gun and your critical hit chance now for the talents that I use I like using adrenaline so when you're not at full health and you use a medkit it'll give you an overheal which is very very helpful I like using battle buddy so when you revive your teammate it reduces the damage by 50% for 10 seconds for both you and the guy you revived which is very helpful so when you're getting revived or you're reviving somebody you're going to take less damage then I also like using precision so if you headshot a hostile you could pulse them and you're going to see where they are for 10 seconds and then Reaper Reaper this is for, like by far the best you could use if you're low on ammo and you have a strong pistol you could pull out your pistol and every kill you get with your pistol it'll give you 30 bullets for your gun so that's basically one mag per each kill you get which is very very helpful when you're low on ammo and there's weak uh, computers nearby that you want to kill and the perks don't really matter because you get all the perks once you uh, max out your base and you like upgrade it so it doesn't really matter um that's basically it though oh and also if you want to get good gear always craft it as I said on my last video on uh, Tom Clancy's always craft your uh, your gear never like buy it from the safe room vendor at the dark zone unless you're buying it from the safe room vendor at DZ6 where uh, where he sells level 31 items you don't want level 30 items you really don't so just buy 31 blueprints level 31 blueprints and just come over here keep crafting them till you get the mods you want on it the attributes whatever you guys want to call them and that's basically it if you want to have um, a good uh, things on your gun or you could also buy them from the tech wing over here from uh, this dude with Phoenix credits mostly everything here is level 31 All right, we'll start here and work our way north. oh and this right here this uh if you guys want to do the the health regeneration glitch the one that I do you could buy this mask right here and it already comes in a mod slot and if you don't like the skill attribute you could also change it which I suggest you guys doing if you want wait I think that was better than the one I have Scavenging, wait, no, no, damage, enemy. Actually, no, it's not. Never mind. So, if you guys want, you should buy that. I really recommend you buying that if you want to survive longer. Um, that's basically yeah, a real video. Since you came back to me. So, if you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Also, comment what you guys want me to do next on my next video, or what games you guys want me to play, and. If you can, please subscribe. I would really appreciate it and it will help me grow. Thanks for watching the video. Peace out, guys.